Nutrition and Weight Management Outline Obesity Obesity, Physiological Changes Dietary Therapy for Obesity The Nutritional Care Process Nutritional Care Plan Nutritional Management of Obesity 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 can be defined as an excessive accumulation of fat in the body, either general or localized, and should be viewed as a chronic disease. The WHO has declared obesity as the largest global chronic health problem in adults, which by 2025 will emerge as a more serious world problem than malnutrition. Overweight refers to a state in which weight exceeds a standard based on height. Management of obesity should include lifelong treatment, improved health practices, exercise programs, support systems and behavior modification. Obesity – Physiological Changes Contributors to the increase in obesity, the role of genetic neurobiological factors. The big two environmental factors are said to be 1. Unending overnutrition related to ubiquitous abundance of low-cost or high-calorie foods. 2. Increasingly sedentary occupations and immobilizing technologies including computers, automobiles, television and elevators that decrease caloric expenditure. Evidence is mounting that these two factors, a toxic environment and genetic influences, are not mutually exclusive contributors to obesity. Dietary Therapy for Obesity The surge in common human obesity is solely a behavioral and environmental problem and should therefore be treated by behavioral and dietary therapy. Behavior modifications include eating a moderately low-fat, high-carbohydrate diet, consistent self-monitoring of body weight, food intake and physical activity, eating breakfast every day, very high levels of physical activity equivalent to 60 minutes per day, Nutritional Care Plan Implementing the Nutritional Care Plan Meal Planning Determining Energy Needs Evaluate Nutritional Care Documentation of Care Continuing Care Goals of Nutrition Therapy To maintain near-normal blood glucose levels by balancing food intake with insulin or oral medication and physical activity levels. To provide adequate calories to attain and maintain reasonable weights for all age groups. To control blood pressure. To achieve optimal blood lipid levels. To prevent, delay or treat acute insulin-related complications to prevent, delay or treat long-term complications of obesity, diabetes or hypertension. Nutritional Management of Obesity Effective weight management involves a careful balance of nutrient intake, physical activity, behavior modification and a positive attitude toward achieving appropriate body weight. The overall aim should focus on achieving good health. During weight loss, approximately 20 kilocalories per kilogram, 10 kilocalories per LB of current weight is needed to spare lean body tissue while losing fat. A weight loss of 0 0.5 to 1 kilogram, 1 to 2 ounces per week is usually recommended. In order to achieve desirable 
practical weight loss which can be maintained or reduction of 500 kilocalories per day from present caloric intake is recommended. Recommended treatment for obesity. Determine the level of obesity and the specific intervention needs of the client. Set realistic goals. Assist the client to set his or her own short, medium and long-term goals. A realistic goal is loss of 5 to 10% of initial body weight at a rate of 0 0.5 to 1 kilograms, 1 to 2 ounces per week. Distribute calories over approximately 6 meals for the day, including snacks, to prevent overeating. Provide adequate fluids to aid excretion, at least 8 glasses of water per day. If there is fluid retention, decrease sodium intake. Decrease the intake of high caloric food, such as fats, 9 kilocalories per gram, and alcohol, 7 kilocalories per gram. Caloric intake less than 1200 kilocalories will require strict clinical supervision. Encourage regular physical activity according to doctor's recommendations. Closely monitor obese persons who quit smoking. Encourage the client to participate in a support group and facilitate family involvement. Encourage client to record fluid intake daily to be able to verify reduction of calories through fluid. Thank you. The nutritional care process. Proper nutritional care is integral to the successful management of obesity, diabetes and hypertension. Compliance with the nutrition and meal planning principles, however, remains one of the most challenging aspects of care. Nutrition Assessment An important first step in initiating nutritional care is evaluating the nutrition status of the individual. Nutrition assessment must be completed for every person with obesity, diabetes or hypertension who presents for initial care. Nutritional assessment is an important tool for identifying existing or potential problems and identify clients needing a more comprehensive screening. Assessment generates the information needed for a comprehensive approach to nutrition intervention. Some parameters will need to be assessed each time the individual presents for care. These include weight, blood pressure, dietary intake and blood glucose. Indicators of nutritional risk Dietary intake, quality and or quantity Decrease absorption of nutrients Decrease utilization of nutrients Increase nutrient losses Increase nutritional requirements a, conce a conceptual framework for the team approach. Assess nutrition status. Develop nutritional care plan. Education. Meal plan. Exercise program. Implement nutritional care plan. Nutrition goal not realized. Revise care plan. Refer for more specialized care as appropriate. Nutrition goal realized. Schedule follow-up appointments less frequently. Example, semi-annually. The assessment process. Review of historical data. Careful data collection. Anthropometric. Biochemical. Clinical. Dietary Determination of exercise or activity level Assessment of client's ability and readiness to participate in care plan Assessment of client's support network, home or community Interpretation of data 
use of the data to provide appropriate care.